shoot a video, you know. I have to find the perfect spot to shoot that. Now, I can just use anywhere. Under a unique place, you understand? A place they will never expect. Hmm. All right, welcome back to the channel. You know already, like, comment, share, subscribe. Welcome back to Tackling Miss Rona Trademark. Today, we're going to be learning how to deal with people who had COVID, all the do's and don'ts, right? But what, what, what you doing there? Eh? Sir, what happened? You, you put something here, man. Sir, move there, man. A video you're making, man. I'm to be in it. Sir, that's none of your business, but yeah, yeah I'm doing a video. But, yeah. I have a message to tell the world. Eh? You message? So you feel anybody on the air what you have to say? I said, watch you. So, be, 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 you all feel because I, 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 I a zombie. I, I, I don't have an opinion, man. Where, where? How I feel, people, you guys, sir? Zombie need love to eh? Fire on all, man. Fire burn, y'all. Okay, all right, fine. All right, all right, fine. As I said, we're going to be talking about the do's and don'ts for people who have contracted COVID. Now, apparently, we have a special guest on the show. So, take, take the floor. To all my internet people, my name is Johnston Standerson III. But, people, let's just call me Stan. I have a message for you. I am representing all the zombies. Because I am the ambassador. You see, if I want that COVID thing to end, you must live like zombies. Get rid of all your worldly possessions. Because zombies don't have that. Zombies live in a simple life. If you want to join us, just take all your things and put it outside. And when my associates see that, they will come and they will rid you of all the sin that you're living in. Well, you heard it here first, guys. Now, now, back to the important stuff. Guys, you cannot be discriminating against people that have COVID, long COVID, short COVID, medium COVID. We cannot be doing that, buddy, sir. Now, once they're watching our channel, once they're watching my channel, they cannot face discrimination. All right? Yes. Because you're less discriminate against people. Just like all the discriminate against zombies. You got any video again? You do your part already. If you knew somebody that had COVID and they got better, you must be kind to them. Because they could have died, you know. But you must make sure you make them know how to wear their mask and how to properly make their sanitizer. Now I'll be dropping the link for that video in the description for those that missed the video the last time. You better show them how to wear their mask properly. And how to make their own sanitizer. Now I'll be dropping the link in the description for those that missed that video. <laughs> y'all know me. From my saying that is overdue, y'all overdoing your thing. Because y'all know already, I don't want none of them by me. <laughs> if they contracted the virus, we have to be kind to them. We cannot discriminate against them. Okay? If you listen to the tips on the show, as usual, Miss Rona cannot never visit you. Eh, eh. That's true. Miss Rona can never visit you. So you're still there, sir? Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning into the show again. You already know, like, comment, share, subscribe. Now, I have to go because Mitt's already harassing me there and I can't take it because he self believe my life is his. So I have to go. Follow the tips. Practice everything I tell you and you'll be fine. Bye bye. Tell them bye bye. Tell them bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, okay, yeah. Hey boy, I'm going home today. <laughs> yes, I can see you very excited and feeling much better. I'm just going to take your vitals, okay, before you can go.
All right. Now, you know, I was doing some reading on the, the Ministry of Health site. I ended up learning that a lot of these things that my partners told me and even what I read on social media, they were not even true, you know. I'm so happy to see that you've changed your whole mindset on this. And it's very important to get a lot of the information from a reputable source. Yeah, imagine I was doing my research the other day. My, one of my partners told me that the vaccine it changes your DNA. And a little reading I went and I realized that makes no sense. I mean, come on, how can a vaccine change your DNA? Right. Yeah, yes, people are saying too many things. COVID is still pretty new. We don't know a lot about it. But, I mean, the information that is going around, a lot of fake news. And we have to make sure that we give the right or correct information out there. And since you know firsthand what it was like to experience COVID, I hope you tell your friends the real information. You know, things that would help to change the, the way things are going right now. Mm -hmm. You know, that's trueness, but I must say, you're doing a good job here, you know, one thing about you, always up and down, you're checking on the patients, mm -hmm. and I know <laughs> in the beginning, you know, I, I was a little rough, but it's just because of what I was hearing, I self thought that was a pandemic kind of vibe, you know, trying to poison people's mind. Honestly, that is just how I felt, I didn't want nobody to, to be, but nurse, you're persistent, and you still, you check on me, nurse, and thank you for that, just keep doing what it's you're doing, nurse. Work. Yeah, I man. love what I do, it's, it's a, a true passion. But you know, at the end of the day, I really want to make sure that people are taking the vaccines and I want to know, are you going to take the vaccine? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, okay. Listen, both me and my woman getting vaccinated because I was reading again. You know, if you are unvaccinated, you are two times more likely to contract the virus again. Mm -hmm. You think I want to come back? I, 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 I like it, you know, I like it so much. <laughs> well, you know, you know? I... Don't, don't mind I was acting strong, you know, that, that threw me down. Yeah, that's what I like to hear, that you're taking the vaccine, that you're going to take care of yourself, you have the proper information. Uh, that's all really good. So let me go and get the rest of the things to make sure that you can be discharged properly, okay? I'll be back very soon. <laughs> oh, wow, boy. Listen, that COVID thing is nothing easy, eh, bro. I wish you a speedy recovery. Just make sure you take care of yourself. And when you come out, you have no car wave vibe. Make sure you still follow the protocol. Eh? As a matter of fact, both of us, because I, I go in first. Both of us have to follow the protocol and make sure, you know, we sanitize, we social distance and we take care of ourselves. Because there ain't nothing easy, boy. I, I, I know I feel like I was tough, but boy, that, that, that give me a blow. That real give me a blow. <laughs> because we, we are in the clear yet. Okay, well, he's putting some good information. All right, seems like <laughs> everything is good right now. You're ready to go. Um, before you leave, just pick up your prescription. And at any time you feel unwell when you're at home, just don't hesitate to call 911, okay? Okay, that's right. thank you, Nessa. Right, well, that's it for you. You're free to go. Thank you so All much, right. Ness, again. And take care. I will, Ness. And you take care of yourself as well. Thank you so much, Ness. You, no you made this. I don't know what I would have done if, if you were not here, really dealing with me the way I was, Ness. I it's appreciate okay. that. Right. I appreciate that. All right. Well, okay? All right, thank, thank you. you. All right, bye-bye. My girl, you know the man will make me leave his meeting saying it's COVID I have. Eh, eh. I know him, my girl. I'm a pastor that day. He was trying to play like his doctor, trying to diagnose you. Just so. Eh, eh, eh. I even worrying myself with me. <coughs> a little cold I have. Last week, I got wet in the rain. The stupid bus driver, instead of putting me by the door to my house, hmm. he puts me by the road. And the rain wet me. But you know how it is. It's not COVID. I have it. When the rain beat down on you, that's just what happens. You cough, you sneeze, you do all that. But my girl, you sure you don't want to just go get yourself checked out? You see, you stopped telling me, Papi, show that. <laughs> you, it's you that's Pastor Antonius. <laughs> don't know what happened to me. You just saying I have COVID. Well. <coughs> eh, eh. My girl, you okay? You sure you're right there? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. It's the same call I told you about. Okay. <clears throat> Is that, I, I mean, I got wet and, and that's what happened. I don't have COVID. It's just the cold, man. It's been a few weeks now, eh? But that's it. I know you say it's a cold you have, but just to be on the safe side, let's go get yourself checked out. The respiratory clinic might still be open. You're really talking shit, eh? You see, you're just trying to tie up my speed. As a matter of fact, Let's just go and get a shot of white rum and that go kill all that cold story. Yeah. Yes. Messy, messy, messy. Oh, yeah.